In Santa Cruz County, people there are continuing to feel the effects of this strong storm. Down trees have landed onto homes and cars, while thousands of PG&E customers were without power today. KIO's Austin Castro spoke with some of the people dealing with the storm there. He joins us now live from downtown Santa Cruz. Austin, how's it looking out there tonight? Well, Maxwell, here in downtown Santa Cruz, much of the rain has seemed to have tapered off, but other areas of the county are still being impacted by those gusty winds. Now, in the downtown area, several businesses were without power, including the Santa Cruz Cinema. Thankfully, power has been restored to most, but many in the community are still feeling the impacts of this major storm. Areas of Santa Cruz County are still recovering from the aftermath of Sunday's strong storm. Gusty wind and rain led to multiple toppled trees. It went through all my whole first floor. In the Opal Cliffs neighborhood, Paige Gordon's home was hit by one of those falling trees. And hopefully the county will take uh, me and our neighbors please seriously now. We've been asking them for a maintenance schedule for this parcel for over two years and they've been able to Meanwhile, in the Southview Terrace area of Santa Cruz, large trees severely damaged multiple cars parked in the street. Sean Basaliga's girlfriend's car was parked directly behind where a tree fell, but luckily not damaged. Saw this other tree fall and totally crushed this other car, go straight through it. My car and my girlfriend's car were miraculously good. Thankfully, no one was hurt in either incident. Throughout the day on Sunday, thousands of PG&E customers were without power due to the weather. Some UC Santa Cruz students tell me they've also been impacted. Our apartment actually has been like losing power every now and then because the power lines are down and there's so much debris like on campus. With the severe weather that slammed the Central Coast, those living in the area say they hope people are out of harm's way. Can't control nature, right? So hopefully everyone's just being smart and being safe. Now as, now, as I was driving into Santa Cruz, I did see several road hazards as well as traffic collisions. So if you are needing to drive, make sure to take it slow and use extra precaution. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Austin Castro, KION News Channel 46. We have all the resources for Santa Cruz County and other communities on the Central Coast over on our website, newschannel46.com.